Wow. Well, how big was it? Was big. Was it big or huge or gigantic? Big. In the creative curriculum classroom, teachers use every opportunity to help children become confident and capable mathematicians. To do this, they must know the components and process skills of mathematics, create a mathematics-rich environment, integrate mathematics throughout the day, plan mathematics experiences, assess children's mathematics learning, and involve families. All right, thank you. The creative curriculum approach to mathematics reflects the standards developed by the National Council of Teachers of Mathematics. The components of mathematics are number and operations, geometry and spatial sense, it looks like a ball if we look at it this way, but when we look at it this way, hmm. Measurement. Patterns. And then what color would you like to use? Red. And data analysis. Seven, so how many boots did he find? Eight. Is it as big as you? Not yet. Teachers create opportunities for children to use the process skills of mathematics, including what can you add? problem solving. To make it bigger, to make it as big as you. Sue's question prompts Bryce to think about the problem and how he might solve it. Reasoning. Leah, we're measuring how long the table is. Do you want to measure it this way? And I asked her which side she thought was longer, and she said Boris's. And I asked her why, and she said because there are a lot. Communicating. I just got half of a radish. Carol models mathematical language to encourage Benjamin to communicate mathematical ideas. First you had a whole tomato and a whole mushroom, and now you just have half of a mushroom. What? Connecting. This is one of our... Carol selects the three billy goats gruff for small group read aloud with three-year-olds. They make mathematical connections as they continue to explore the concepts of quantity and size. You noticed something on that bulletin board, didn't you, Brooke? Remember yesterday when we acted out the three bears? Now we're going to read a story that also has three sizes. Representing. You're going to try and measure? When Lynn observes Benjamin using the measuring tape in the block area, she models how to represent mathematical thinking by recording the findings. My tower is 20 inches. Later on, I asked him if he'd like to record it on, in the clipboard in the paper. What are you writing? Uh, five inches. Writing how many inches? Two inches. Two inches. Teachers create a mathematics-rich environment in four ways. You're getting it. You're getting it. Mm -hmm. Space and materials are organized to reflect the order inherent in mathematics. Displays of mathematical concepts appear around the room so that children can understand and use them. Consistent routines, such as a step-by-step -step procedure for hand washing, our hands. That's the first step. help children learn ordinal numbers through real-life experiences. First, you wet your hands. Teachers enrich interest areas to promote mathematical thinking by adding materials. On a scale? What number is there? What number does that look like? Six. Yeah, there's a six there. And a zero. Okay. And a zero. <laughs> Environmental print. And books. Math happens naturally. As children explore and move around the environment, we might see a child sorting or counting, and a teacher comes over and scaffolds them by asking open-ended questions. What's the difference between that one? It's a glass. Like glass?
teachers integrate mathematics throughout the day so children can count measure collect data your ball rolls, so where are you going to place your name at? And explore shapes, space, and patterns. In Sharon's room, mathematics begins at group time. I intentionally put our schedule here because I refer to it. The children learn what comes first, second, before, after. It also teaches them a sense of time. Let's look at our graph. Who's still home? Bianca. Bianca. I use the homeschool graph to move beyond rote counting to object counting. One, two, three. Planning boards posted at each interest area support children's understanding of one-to-one -one correspondence and quantity. During choice time at Toys and Games, Lewis observes that Aaliyah has independently created patterns using two colors. He extends her thinking by suggesting a more complex pattern. Do you think we can use three colors for a pattern? Yeah. All right, which color would you like to use first? Yellow. Yellow? Let's see if we can find any Lynn coaches Annalie to notice the attributes of shape and number of holes. This looks the same. Why do they look the same? But why? Let's see them. My name. My. You're going to take another one? My. What do you notice about those buttons that you just took out? Blacks. They're both blacks. And you said that it was how many blacks? I saw you do this. Two. Right, you notice that they are both that's, black. That's, this is not true, this is true. This one isn't, let me see. <gasps> you are right, you notice that this one has more, right? How many? There's four in this one and two in that one. You notice the difference. What else? I use transitions for intentional teaching. Jeremy. Go get your coat. My objective was to make sure that the children were pointing to the numbers as they were counting. <gasps> One, two. One, two. Buckle my shoe. You can go. Come on, Kristen. Teachers use both indoor and outdoor gross motor experiences to promote mathematics learning. Could we ride our bikes in a zigzag? Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. All right. Listening to and making music enables children to experience spatial concepts. Can't go over it. Can't go over it. Can't go under it. We can't go under it. And patterns. How many do you have in your cup? One. In addition to the mathematics learning that happens throughout the day, teachers plan for focused, explicit mathematics instruction in small and large group settings. One, two. To connect to their study of trees, Sharon organizes a small group counting game using acorns collected on a walk. I see. One. You have one too. Observing that their number recognition skills are strong, Ms. D invites these four year olds to play math bingo during choice time. Okay, and this is number five. five. And. Bingo. 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 As they study worms. Which worm is longer? Lynn observes her three-year-old's fascination with length and thickness. This is the shortest one. In response, she plans this small group investigation during choice time to build on their interest.
Nori extends a group time discussion of the weather into a graphing experience using children's boots and sneakers. Nine boots. See how many sneakers we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we need to figure out something. So we need to think. What has more, nine boots or seven sneakers? Nine boots. Nine boots is more. Let me see nine fingers. Nine. Lewis observes and assesses children's mathematics learning so that he can plan appropriate experiences. Having observed Aaliyah's interest in inch cubes, Lewis suggests she work with Boris at Toys and Games, and their collaboration was a success. Look at how many. She was touching the beads and sliding them over and counting. Isabella was able to touch the wires on the abacus and count from one to ten, which is a great observation for me. There were ten rows of colorful beads. By suggesting that she count to help Alexis know how much soap to squeeze into the water. One, two, three, two, nine, six, seven, nine. Jamie collects information about Grace's counting skills. What do we need to do to make bubbles? Now that we put the soap in here, what do we need to do? By adapting the environment, materials, or the activity, all children can be actively engaged in mathematics experiences that are challenging yet achievable. Grace is making bubbles with the mixer. Family members can support their children's understanding and use of math skills during everyday experiences. Jessica shares some math tips with parents. Nori welcomes families into the classroom so they can see how children use materials for mathematics learning. Mommy, Sharon invites families to an evening event to explore math materials and concepts together. When teachers know mathematics content and process skills, you want to try it again? create a mathematics rich environment, integrate mathematics throughout the day, plan mathematics experiences, 19. assess children's mathematics learning, and involve families. Their efforts will result in creating powerful mathematical thinkers. to go through it.